Have you ever wondered why is it that very few people in the world are able to design the exact life and lifestyle that they want and they're able to achieve their dreams and goals whilst vast majority of people in the world struggle, remain in a state of confusion and frustration and wondering why they can't achieve their dreams and goals. And one of the main reasons I've identified is that majority of people live their lives in the reverse. What does that mean? Well, everything in the world has a cause and an effect. For something to happen, something should have happened before that. Now, let me just use some examples. Let's just say we have a person that is very overweight or they're unhealthy or they don't like their appearance. Now, that is the effect. That is the result that they may not be happy with. And what happens is majority of the times, people will try and fix the effect without understanding what the cause is. Now, this person may have a poor self-image. They may have poor eating habits. They may have poor discipline. They may have poor commitment. And all of those things are the causes which resulted in this effect. Let me use another example. Let's talk about a person that has become homeless. Now, a lot of the times people will feel very sorry for that person and think that, well, the best way to help that person is just to give them money. But the problem with that approach is we never asked ourselves the question as to why this effect was produced in the first place. Was it perhaps that this person was not skilled enough? Was it perhaps that they were not disciplined enough? Was it perhaps that they didn't have the right knowledge to manage their finances or they were living in neglect or denial? Whatever it is, most of the times people will try and fix the effect without determining the core cause why the problem resulted in the first place. So the issue is that everyone's trying to fix the effect without fixing the cause. And the cause in, in all circumstances is how we think. We don't see the world as the world is. We see it through a perceptive filter which determines our perception of the world. Now that perception drives how we think, that thinking drives how we feel, those feelings drive the decisions that we make and the behaviors that we engage in, or even the indecisions that we engage in. Because when we decide not to make a decision, we've just made a decision, you see? So the problem is that what is determining our behaviors is our mindset as the core cause. And until we fix the way we think, it wouldn't matter how much time and energy we put into fixing our behaviors and our actions and our decisions, the result cannot change. To fix the effect, identify the core cause and put your attention in fixing that core cause. Otherwise, the change in results that you're going to see is going to be temporary at best and eventually you will always revert back to your quick original results. So for this reason, it's so important that people understand the concept of cause and effect. And with behind every effect, we need to get into the habit of saying, why did I end up here? And you need to trace your steps back. And rather than fixing the most recent step, identify the first step that resulted in you getting here and start there.